This week's video is on the number 40. It's mentioned 146 times in scripture. Let's look at specific instances where the number 40 appears in the Bible as either 40 days or 40 years. Hello, I'm Kathy Bartow. In our lifetimes, turning 40 years old is considered a significant milestone. When someone turns 40, he or she has already established his or her career, most likely is busy raising a family, may have a better understanding of oneself and what it takes to stay as healthy as possible, and is more than likely to be confident in his or her purpose and direction in life. The number 40 is also significant in the Bible. It oftentimes represents a period of testing, trial, and or transformation. In this video, I'll be talking about Noah, Moses, David, and Jesus. Noah. In Noah's time, the earth was corrupt in God's sight, and the earth was filled with violence. The Bible tells us that Noah found favor in the eyes of the Lord. Noah, his wife, his three sons, and their wives were the only humans God saved from the floods that covered the earth. Noah was told by God to make the ark from gopher wood. God told Noah to make it 300 cubits in length, 50 cubits in width, and 30 cubits in height. In today's measurement of feet, uh, that means that the ark was 510 feet long by 85 feet wide by 51 feet high. Now regarding animals, the Bible states that only land-dwelling animals were included in the ark. According to arkencounter.com, Noah and his family cared for 6,744 animals and it took them 75 years to build the ark. Here's where the number 40 comes into play. In Genesis chapter 7, verse 4, God said, After seven more days, I will send rain on the earth for 40 days and 40 nights, and I will wipe out from the face of the land every living thing that I have made. Moses. Moses was 40 years old when he was outside the palace and saw an Israelite killed by an Egyptian. This is what Moses did. In Exodus chapter 2, verse 11, So he looked this way and that, and when he saw that there was no one around, he struck and killed the Egyptian and hid his body in the sand. Well, this was discovered. So Moses fled from the palace, and after 40 years, encountered God in the burning bush. And God said in Exodus chapter 3 verse 12, I will be with you and this will be the sign to you that it is I who have sent you. When you have brought the people out of Egypt, you will worship God on this mountain. Moses was 80 years old, two times 40, when he led the Israelites out of slavery and safely across the Red Sea. The next two instances of the number 40 come in years. Moses was in the wilderness for 40 years with the Israelites. And in Exodus chapter 16, verse 35, it says, the sons of Israel ate the manna for 40 years until they came to an inhabited land. They ate the manna until they came to the border of the land of Canaan. When they reached the promised land, Moses was 120 years old, three times 40. David and Goliath. When David was at the palace, serving as King Saul's armor bearer and personal musician, he learned that the Philistines had camped on the hill of the Valley of Elah. He also learned about Goliath, an enormous Philistine who was nine feet, nine inches tall. In addition to his extremely tall stature, according to some estimates, Goliath wore around 150 pounds of armor. As a champion of the Philistine, each morning Goliath came into view and said to the Israelites, give me a man so that we may fight together. How often did this scenario, the same one occur? 
Well, listen to 1 Samuel chapter 17, verse 16. And the Philistine came forward morning and evening and took his stand for 40 days. David was going back and forth from his home in Judah to the battlefield to bring his brothers food. When he saw Goliath and heard Goliath's challenge, David said, he can do this. 1 Samuel chapter 17, verses 31 to 37. When the words that David spoke were heard, they informed Saul, and he sent for him. And David said to Saul, may no one's heart fail on account of him. Your servant will go and fight the Philistine. But Saul said to David, you are not able to go against this Philistine to fight him, for you are only a youth, while he has been a warrior since his youth. But David said to Saul, your servant was tending his father's sheep. When a lion or a bear came and took a sheep from the flock, I went out after it and attacked it and rescued the sheep from its mouth. And when it rose up against me, I grabbed it by its mane and struck and killed it. Your servant has killed both the lion and the bear. And this uncircumcised Philistine will be like one of them, since he has defied the armies of the living God. And David said, the Lord who saved me from the paw of the lion and the paw of the bear, he will save me from the hand of this Philistine. So Saul said to David, go and may the Lord be with you. Now we know the story that David slew Goliath, cut off his head and brought it back to King Saul. Here's two more forties. King Saul ruled a total of 40 years. And when David became king, he also ruled for 40 years. Our Lord Jesus. When Jesus was around 30 years of age, he was baptized by John the Baptist in the River Jordan. As part of his spiritual preparation for his ministry, Jesus would led, was led by the Holy Spirit to a wilderness region where he fasted and prayed for, 40, for a 40 day period. After 40 days without eating, Jesus was tempted by Satan when he was at his physical weakest. After all, he hadn't had anything to eat for a month and 10 days. Listen to Matthew chapter 4, verses 1 through 11. Then Jesus was led by the Spirit into the wilderness to be tempted by the devil. After fasting for 40 days and 40 nights, he was hungry. The tempter came to him and said, If you are the Son of God, tell these stones to become bread. Jesus answered, It is written, Man shall not live on bread alone, but on every word that comes from the mouth of God. Then the devil took him to the holy city and had him stand on the highest point of the temple. If you are the Son of God, he said, throw yourself down, for it is written, He will command his angels concerning you and they will lift you up in their hands so that you will not strike your foot against a stone. Jesus answered him, it is also written, do not put the Lord your God to the test. Again, the devil took him to a very high mountain and showed him all the kingdoms of the world and their splendor. All this I will give you, he said, if you will bow down and worship me. Jesus said to him, get away from me, Satan. For it is written, Worship the Lord your God and serve him only. Then the devil left him, and angels came and attended him. Jesus also stayed on the earth after his resurrection for 40 days before he ascended into heaven. Acts chapter 1, verses 1 through 3. The first account I composed, Theophilus, about all that Jesus began to do and teach until the day when he was taken up to heaven, after he had given orders by the Holy Spirit to the apostles whom he had chosen. To these he also presented himself alive after his suffering by many convincing proofs, appearing to them over a period of 40 days and speaking of things regarding the kingdom of God. These are just a few of the events in the Bible that were of 40 days or 40 years duration. Next week, we'll visit the number seven 
in the Bible. Till next time, peace be with you.